guys, it's Jody. I have this little chalkboard. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did a Halloween um, design on here. It's very small, probably fits a four by six photo maybe. And um, this is part of my mom's um, Thanksgiving decor. So she asked me to put a specific saying on here in chalk. So I've got some of my little chalk tools here and I'm going to attempt to do it. I don't have a lot of space here, so it's not going to be super creative. And she told me what she wants it to say. So we'll just see kind of how it comes out. Well, there it is. Simple but effective, right? I like it. Just a touch of color. Try not to go too crazy with it. Yeah, it'll work. It's tiny, but it'll work. I'm not sure where she got this saying that she wanted, but what I usually do is I have a board um, on my Pinterest page called Chalk It Up. And so when I see cool ideas and stuff, I'll put them there. And I don't um, try and copy what I see other people do for the most part. I just try and get inspiration from it. You know what I mean? But for the most part, I just kind of try and get ideas and inspirations from what other people are doing and then make it my own. I also have a whole bunch of lettering on that page and different kind of symbols and stuff to give me ideas of how I can um, put the letters together and what kind of fonts look good together. So I will link that Pinterest board down below if you want to take a look at it or, you know, make one of your own if you like doing chalkboards. But if you want to do chalk, you don't need to go, you know, and buy expensive tools from uh, craft websites and stuff. This is a regular pencil sharpener that's just, you know, back to school time or Dollar Tree. I think I paid 50 cents for it. And then these chalks are just, I most of them came from the Dollar Tree. And sometimes I'll find colored chalks like at the, um, at the um, dollar spot at Target. The chalk pencils that I have, um, these are this is General's Pencil. I think I got this at um, Michael's. I want to say I got two for like $3. So, and um, I do have some of these um, chalk markers. It's really hard for this to come off. So it's like something you want to either save or potentially you're going to repaint that chalkboard if you use these. So I have used them a few times, but they're not my favorite because of that. And then I just use a ruler sometimes and Kleenex and that's about it. You don't need a lot of expensive tools or anything. Use Pinterest to get your ideas and you know like I said even you don't need to buy a big giant expensive chalkboard. 
Um, sometimes you can get chalkboards at the Dollar Tree and even you can get like um, I've shown before you can just get chalkboard spray paint and spray paint anything to make it a chalkboard and that spray paint at Walgreens or not Walgreens <laughs> Walmart is about three fifty or four dollars and I use the rust-oleum kind not the Krylon kind I prefer rust-oleum so this doesn't have to be an expensive hobby at all and there's lots of videos to show you like how to's lots of blog posts that people do to do how to's of how to make um how to get started and all that that's not really what i'm doing here i'm just kind of showing you my process but um there's lots of videos and stuff um, to help you learn lettering and chalk skills and stuff like that and i could even link some of those below but um yeah, I think it's fun. It's a it's an outlet and it's not a big deal if you mess up because you can just you're gonna erase it anyway, right? Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you want me to do more um chalkboards or more about chalkboards or if you're interested in it or not. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.